Hello and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU4. Mari Nostrum playing as Venice. We were about to declare war on Milan, and then Bohemia got called into something else. Crimea declared war upon Genoa. Cool. Go ahead and weaken Genoa some more. It'll make it even easier for me to take them over eventually, so I don't have to send ships off this direction. Ottomans, what are you doing? I see you moving some troops around. You're also in this war against, uh, Helra. For some reason. Bohemia-Ottoman combo. Very dangerous. Very dangerous indeed. Corsica entered into a military alliance with Mantua. Seems fine. I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, building a spy network against some of our other neighbors. Ferrara, for example. Let's get a claim on them. Maybe someday it ends up being useful. Mantua's in my trade league, so I don't want to mess with them. Ferrara actually would join my trade league. Hang on. They're in the Venetian trade node. Maybe I'd actually rather just have that. I can always just kick them out later. Oh, all right. We'll invite them into my trade league, I guess. We'll be friends. There you go. Welcome to the fold. doop a doop The Reformation branches out. The Protestant Reformation is spreading like a wildfire. The Reformed have fired. Wow, already? This feels a little early to me. They're up here, though. Huh. Interesting. Well, that usually means that some small nation, a couple of small German nations, will all accept reforms in order to get that uh, huge boost to their money. What's interesting to me is that Sweden is still not Protestant. That's because they're still a lesser partner under Denmark. Sweden never got independent? Wow. Denmark might just annex these guys and become a powerhouse at some point. That doesn't happen too often. Be kind of cool to see, actually. I wouldn't mind that. What is this? Protestant Zealots. Hmm. Well, stay in Augsburg. Don't mess with me. Don't tread on me, bro. I bite. Really hard. Alright. Uh, we're at our force limits. We haven't got our force limit here, though. Treasure has died. Grab a couple more galleys. Well, do I care about that, though? Eh, no, let's just grab some trade ships. I was gonna say galleys might be good just for a bit more naval supremacy, but meh. Let's just make sure that we make more money. Money's what matters, after all, at the end of the day. We haven't gotten any events to increase our Republican tradition lately. We used to get a bunch of them. Not so much anymore. It's kind of sad. Ryazin accepted peace. They would give stuff to Novgorod. Don't care. Why is Novgorod considered to be an important nation for me? No, best guess. I don't care about Novgorod, so take them off. All of our other immediate neighbors, though, they matter. Yeah, that seems good. Alright. <clears throat> so, Bohemia. How about you just finish off your war real quick? Oh my gosh, Burgundy and Hainaut are both going to get separate, separated from Austria. This is going to be great. It's going to be great. Austria is going to completely fall apart. They're only allied to Trier. I mean, heck, if we wanted to, we could beat the crap out of Austria and just take a ton of their territory for fun. We may do that eventually. I'm not sure we're going to right away. So in order to form Rome, right, it's really, really difficult. I don't remember all the uh, requirements. I'm pretty sure I have to own all of France, Iberia, South Germany, Italy, the Balkans, Anatolia, and maybe all this as well, the Mediterranean. Something like that. You have to own a freaking ton of territory in order to form the Roman Empire. It's ridiculous, really. Hmm. Well, eventually I'd like to say we're going to do it. I mean, it's only 1519. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. First things first, we need to form Italy. Italy is strong. Italy has some very good ideas. Very good perks. I would like to become Italian. Shed aside the Merchant Republic. I mean, Merchant Republic's been fun while it ha you know, for a while, but we don't have to keep it forever. Moonster! Religious Civil Disorder. So, okay, how does the umlaut in German work? So, L Liubeck, I think the umlaut over the U is a, a sort of an U sound? I think? So, Liubeck? So, is, does that mean that Moonster is actually M Munster? Ew, Mew, Munster. Is, is that is that right? That sounds silly. I don't know. 
And by the way, where does Munster cheese come from? Does that come from Ireland Munster, or does that come from German Munster? Because I love Munster cheese. We pronounce it Munster in America. I, again, I, again, I don't know if that's right or not, but that's just how I've always pronounced it as a kid. Love Munster cheese. I don't know if it's Irish or German. I've wondered that several times since I started playing EU4. Augsburg will have to give Baden some money. Wow, Augsburg's having a bad day. They did have a ton of rebels. I'm sure that's a big part of it, but I'm sort of surprised. Okay, Bohemia, please finish your stupid war. Why does it say you have zero war score? I see that Helra is. Oh wait, Holland decided to be opportunistic. Holland's declared their own war against Helra in the Clevian Succession War. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, Holland is on the side of Bohemia, England, Ottomans, and all that. So, they have a succession war. Presumably, they're on the same side? Is Helra in two different wars? No. No, they're not. So, why does it say that Bohemia has zero war score, but Holland, who presumably is fighting the same war on their side, has 56? I don't actually know. That's kind of weird. Huh. All right, we have 15,000 manpower now. We're definitely stacking up. Ooh, Serbian separatists for the Ottomans. And their entire army is over here, fighting other things. How beautiful. Nobility seized power in Circassia. I don't care. Switzerland converted to reformed. What the crap? Switzerland. Now you have a center of reformation for the reformed and the Protestants in your nation. You're going to get completely torn apart by religious disunity all the time. That's stupid. Switzerland's dumb, everybody. Switzerland's a moron. Is what I'm learning out of that. Switzerland's an idiot. All right. Well, is what is. Let's continue to protect some trade. We should actually consider at some point checking with our fleet to see if uh, protecting trade in Venice is now as lucrative as protecting in like Ragusa or Constantinople. It might not be anymore. You never know. You never seem to know. Suffering bereaved has finally expired. Good, that unrest is gone. The rich get richer. Oh no. Some of the most successful merchants have been found so to circumvent tariffs and league taxations by registering holdings under subordinate captains or by unregulated trade with foreign powers. So, corruption. These titans of trade can be granted some leeway. Or everyone is equal before the law. Absent merchant trade efficiency. Nah. We don't want to lose them. And I'm so far ahead of time with everything else. This is going to tick away pretty quick. Yeah, it's ticking down by 37. Well, that's probably because we are spending money to root out corruption. I could spend a lot of money and just get rid of it in a year. Wait. What? Okay, so usually what happens, right... You start off with, like, let's say, zero root out corruption, okay? So right now, by default, because we're ahead of time, we are reducing it by 0.12. Fine. What usually happens is I can spend money, and it progressively roots out even more and more corruption. Now we're up to minus 30, right? And then once you cross the thresh threshold where it's like, hey, we're now we're rooting out minus 50, but there's only 50, so it usually stops making me pay extra money, but it seems I can here anyway. So I guess that would depend on when this ticks. Does this tick down a teensy bit every month? Or does it actually tick down in January only? I don't know. But it means it's actually worth paying attention to, because now we might be spending a lot more money than we need to. If it ticks down in January, then we spent an extra, you know, let's say 8 ducats a... No, more like 12 ducats a month. A whole, a whole other 144 ducats than we needed to in order to reduce it down to zero. That wouldn't make a lot of sense. I'm going to keep it kind of low. Let's see. I'll get it up to 2.5 so that it roots out in two years. That's good enough. Good enough for me. All right. Annexation is going well. And once that's gone, we're going to start making a heck of a lot more Diplo power. I did focus on that, right? Yeah, I did. Good. Baden has religious civil disorder now. Good for them. Bohemia is no longer at war. Good. So, are we ready? Bohemia will join. Let's raise up the army maintenance. 
I'm gonna wait a month. I'm not gonna wait very long, just one month, because the game has a tendency to screw me over. Get a little bit of morale. There we go. And now we'll declare the war. I'm not gonna go anywhere until Bohemia gets back down here. Now maybe we wait one more month. Can I afford to wait one more month? Don't declare a war, Bohemia. I swear to God, don't do it. Holland, did you get your... Yeah, Holland is now in a partnership with Klebs. That's kind of cool. Trier is actually larger than usual. Huh. So Bohemia should be getting their army over here pretty soon. Let's not wait any longer because I don't want to take any risks. I don't want to lose this opportunity again. So I'm going to make sure that everyone understands this is mine, this is mine. I don't care about these anymore. I'm not going to upset the Pope any more than I have to. But I care about these now. So there we go. So yeah, let's declare the war then. We're going to call in Bohemia, make it over Cremona. Done deal. Bohemia, get down here, please. Ravensburg has left our trade league because we are at war. That's sort of to be expected. We might be able to fix that later. Um, Ravensburg is in the woods, and their army is currently absent. Let's go ahead and move up into the mountains. And send some troops to siege down Ravensburg. We'll get them out of the war quickly. That's a relatively low-risk maneuver because Bohemia hasn't gotten down here yet, and they're taking their sweet time. And Ravensburg is currently occupied with something else. We're going to split. I'm going to leave behind the cannon. Send the rest up to Tyrol in the mountains. They can siege down Brescia and stuff if they want. I don't care. Bohemia is dealing with some peasants right now. All right, that's fine. Let's actually go up to these mountains instead. This is a fort. Make sure that they can't take the defensive territory sieging me down. Florence has a lot more troops than I would have expected. 17? For three provinces? That's a lot. Wow, I'm actually shocked. Alright, there's Brescia. Bohemia, I need you to come down here now, please. No, no, no. Don't you go up here. They're going up there. Let's get ready. No, wait. Where are you going? Where are you going? Milan? What are you doing? Milan? What are you... What are you doing, Milan? Why are you sending troops over this way? I don't know. Bohemia! Get down here! We've been discovered. We lost, presumably... Or wait, did we discover them? Never mind, we discovered them spying on us. Okay, that's fun. Nope, go here. Don't let them take this fort. Don't let them take these mountains either. If they just, oh, wait. Erp, erp. Okay, get all these troops over here. We'll have the defensive territory because we should arrive by March 26th. He'll arrive the 31st. Uh, let's detach. Let's send our general over this direction to make sure we have good opportunities here. They're locked, so they are going to take this fight. This is not going to go well for you, Milan. You have minus two to all your rolls. And now we have a lot of cannons firing to your front line. And you rolled zeros. I mean, we're not rolling that well either. Let's... Wow, we're rolling absolutely abysmally. We should still win, though. There's a nine. Nice. Okay. Good. Uh, Alright, so... We need to send more cannons this way. Send half the cannons. Oh, wait. No, wait. Send everything. Half the cannons. Dang it. Stupid general. Come here. No. There. Send some cannons. Don't take any manpower losses. We're waiting for Bohemia to get their act together. They're fighting the Ravensburg army for me right now, actually. Bohemia! Come on! You're going to... This looked like Beetlejuice to me for a second. Budahovis? Budahovis? You have a free advisor slot, huh? Alright. Force limit modifier? No. Discipline is pretty good. We don't need the man maintenance modifier. We're making enough money, so the discipline actually will give us quite an advantage, I think. We'll do that. Alright. Come on, Ravensburg. Go away. Where are you guys going? Are you jumping on... Ravensburg? I was kind of keeping my troops prompted, ready to go. I think that they're marching to meet Bohemia for some reason. Let's start going this direction. Let's follow them. 
You're gonna go fight Ulm? I'm confused. Why would you? Bohemia's got some troops going to Ulm. These troops are going somewhere. Wurttemberg. Why are we fighting in Ulm? Florence. What was your idea here? I mean, we're gonna help. Sure, we'll help Bohemia. This is advantageous to us. We have some massive nasty penalties, though. We should still be able to win, I would think. I don't know what Florence is doing. That was a dumb maneuver, as far as I can tell. But okay. Let's go back into the mountains. Let's go to Trent. Rebels broke Augsburg. I'm waiting to see the rebels break Bohemia. I'm sorry, not Bohemia. Austria. That will make me very happy. New decisions in Augsburg. They're having to kind of reset themselves. Bohemia is going to go and jump on Milan in the hills. All right, you want to take this fight? We'll help. Certainly. And then we should actually use these troops to start sieging some stuff down. If given the choice. Um, let's go to Milan's capital. We'll let Bohemia do the work over there. Come on, Ravensburg. I need you to finish. There we go. Thank you. Hello. Milan received a gift. See, people are sending gifts again. Stop it. Stop giving them money. No, it's fine. Go ahead and give Milan money as much as you want. I'm just going to take everything from them. Super peace. Ravensburg. Give me all your money. I don't want your territory, though. War reps. Annul your treaties. Enforce military access, and then we'll cancel it and get the extra prestige out of that. Sure. Done. Thank you. All right, Ravensburg. I'll invite you back into the trade league. I promise. Dooby doo doop doo doop. Dooby doo doo doop doo doop doop. Let's see. I am going to send the general over here, and then we'll kind of reassess this stack. Uh, how many do we need in Milan? Nine. Let's go ahead and send half. Except, well, no. These guys will leave. We'll go over here to Verona. Bohemia's close by, so I don't feel threatened. I don't want to have massive stacks taking extra attrition. Let's go where Bohemia's going. Which appears to be to jump on Florence. And this is the war goal, after all, so we'll make sure we take this. There we go. Let's go to Parma and start sieging that down next. There we go. Because their armies have been successfully routed. Uh, we can take a couple less, and we'll take a couple cannons. We'll send them over to Brescia. Ceremony disrupted. One of the core parts of a republic are the great ceremonies of state. This is a time where disagreements and disputes... Between the patricians are put on hold so we can display our unity of purpose and show the world our strength. We lost 10 prestige for no good reason. No joy. Let's send the cannons down to Parma. So we can speed this up a little bit. It'll work. Um, but half the other troops will go elsewhere. Just go hide out in Mantua for a little while. Nope, go, to, go here. Go here. This seems fine. All right, Bohemia, what are you going to do? You want to go siege down Florence for me? I'd really appreciate it. Then I wouldn't lose any manpower and I can just take all their money. No? All right, fine. We'll be patient. We'll wait. All right, so we have really good siege uh, spy network against Milan right now. That is actually leading to almost 20% siege ability. That's really, really good. Wow. I like that. Hey! New monarch has risen to the throne in France, and he already has an heir. He has a 14-year-old heir, despite being only 15 years old himself. Brilliant. I'm sure it's not something like, Oh, your king has had a child when he was one years old. Like, obviously not. I don't know if the game's that derpy. I'm sure it's something else like, he has a half-brother who would be in line to inherit the throne or something. Milan got a gift from Portugal. What are you guys doing? Stop sending gifts. What is this? White elephant? It's way too early to be Christmas. It's only March. Now April. 
Oh boy. Whatever. End of religious turmoil in Baden. Bohemia is just sort of sitting tight for a while while we get these forts, because we don't have military access, so they can't go to Ferenz. I'm sure once we get this, uh, this fort, then they will start going that direction. In fact, it actually might be worth just sending all the cannons over here so we siege this down faster. And I think I will. Yeah. We don't necessarily need that for Milan, and it's more important we get down Parma quickly so that Bohemia can go and win the war for me. I'd rather they took all the losses than me. So yeah, go do that. I'll see you just down. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. It'll be fine. Doop 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 doop. Right now. Right now. Dang it. Milan got a gift from the Ottomans now. I'm gonna get so much money out of this war, because everyone gives gifts. I've already got almost two I got two thousand ducats. It's like I don't need I don't need more, but if you're gonna give it to me, then sure, why not? By the way, Milan, what um area are you a part of? You are a part of Brescia. Both of these provinces that I want to take are part of a state that I already have. I would get full um, autonomy with these guys, but it does mean that I'm getting really close to that 20 core limit. Election. We're going to actually re-elect again and keep another diplomat. It's not going to hurt me. Let my Republican tradition go up, and then I can start re-electing the first young guy that comes along. To secret to, uh, I'm sorry, a secret to fast travels, overland transport of perishable goods is a hazardous enterprise. Blah, blah, blah. Competition breeds excellence, gain corruption, gain money, or make a lot of people in my trade league like me. Well, first, um, can I get Ravensburg into the trade league, and would they... No, we're at war, we can't invite anyone. All right. Corruption's down to zero already. I could just make everyone happy. No one will ever leave the Trade League. I don't need another 330 ducats, but... We're gonna take it anyway. Competition breeds excellence. Look, you can never have too much money. There's no penalty for having huge coffers. It'll be fine. There's the Siege of Parma. Alright, Bohemia, go get him. Go get him. No? You don't want to? Why? Bohemia, go, 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 go get him. Can I tell you this is your goal? Objective of Bohemia. Please, go and kill Ferenz. No? Wait, wait. Are they mobilizing? No, they're going the wrong way. What are you doing? Why can't we go here? I guess the Milan Fort is still doing that. Okay, there we go, there we go, Bohemia, finally. There's the Siege of Milan. Let's go here next. Let's get these armies over together. We will siege down... Well, I guess we were going to siege down Luca, but Bohemia has decided to do that instead of actually target what I told them to. Bohemia is not playing very nice. But okay. Alright. What's the force limit here? Uh, 20. But, because I have a 3 maneuver guy, despite the fact that I have 23,000 troops, it's effectively as if I had 20. That's interesting. We won't grab them together then, because then I'll take attrition. Civil war in Austria! And they already have a ton of separatists. Austria is doomed. Oh, let's get in on this. There we go. This is perfect. See, this is exactly what we wanted to happen. This is why I had that war with Austria to begin with. Was so things would happen like this. They're spiraling out of control, they're never going to get back on par. It's perfect. We did so well with that. I'm so glad we did it. Alright, we're killing Florence. We're going to get some more participation for that. Can we get here? No. Can the Papal State give me military access so I can go kill them? Yes. Bohemia. This is no longer your goal. Go kill the army of Milan. Wait. Can't get there. Can't, can't quite, can't quite get there. Did the Papal State say no? Wait. No, we've got military access. Well, why can't I... Oh, the fort. Right. Integrating Corfu! It's done! Finally! Bam! Mission done. Diplomatic reputation. Cool. What we got next? Rival of our rival. Conquer Cyprus. Conquer Graz. Switzerland should like us? I mean, they're not gonna, unless I do something else. Nah. Uh, I don't need the... I mean, Dipple Power's nice, but... Conquer Cyprus, though. Oh, boy.
it is more likely that I can get this to work. We're going to go ahead and try to make Switzerland happy again. We got the diplomats. We're not going to war quite yet. It's all right. Thessaly never got converted. Corfu tried, but they did not succeed. So that's what we look like now. That's pretty cool. Uh, so let's not keep our troops here to die. Let's go to Luca, where there's a really good supply limit. And we'll sort of sit back and let them do the siege. Corfu does not exist, so why did they change their capital? And then they changed it to Castoria. Huh. It's weird. Alright. Well, we're just gonna sit back for a little bit then. And I think we're actually gonna call this video here. Well, let's see. Did I set a timer? I don't think I did. Oh, we're way over our time. We are way, way over our time. So, okay, let's uh, let's end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Provis with EU4 Mario Nostrum. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I, as always, will see you guys next time.